Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome to Med School EU. And the topic of today's video is going to be how to register for the IMAT on the Universe Italy website. So in many of my previous videos, when I talked about the IMAT, I mentioned that IMAT registration happens on the universeitaly.it website where you can do your pre-enrollment, you can make an account and then register for the IMAT. So right now the IMAT window is open, the registration is open until July 22nd. So keep in mind that this is a strict deadline and you cannot do another application afterwards and you also cannot change your application afterwards. So if for example you have selected your particular universities or you have selected the location where you're writing, after July 22nd, nothing can be changed. That is the location that you're gonna to have to write in and that is the university that you're applying for. So keep that in mind that it is a hard deadline and make sure to get things done very quickly before the deadline passes. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to wait a whole other year to register for the IMAT and complete the exam in September. Now the purpose of this video is to create a quick illustration on what the registration is like on the University of Italy website. So when you're registering for the IMAT exam, which buttons to click and how to go through the entire process without making any mistakes. Because once you make a mistake, you're gonna to have to delete the application and do it all over again and make sure you submit it properly before the 22nd July deadline. So make sure you watch this video before you approach your registration so that you don't make any mistakes and then therefore you don't have to make any modifications in the future. And once you complete the process, it's extremely simple. It's, it's a very easy procedure. However, I still got confused. So let's just dive right into it and figure it all out. All right, so first what you're gonna do is Google University Italy and uh, if you spell that right, it will take you to universeitaly.it. So here we go on the site, we click English to make sure that we understand what's going on here. Log in first, so you should create an account. This account is created uh, before you even do the pre-enrollment where you enter your passport and all your other information. Um, and, and then it gives you an email and you've got the password set up for your account so this you've got to create this before you can register for the IMAT and before you can do the pre-enrollment procedure so first we're gonna log in that's the first step now if you have already completed your pre-enrollment that would be in the section right here pre-enroll now under international students 2021 so once you have done the pre-enrollment here for your specific university if you are non-eu student you can then go into the imat 2021 click on that and here we're going to click this button and it's going to take you to uh, your uh, the imat page where you're able to register so first we're going to choose the university here i have uh, already uh, previously chosen the university so if you are an EU student all of these second third fourth fifth sixth seven all of these choices will be counted meaning that if you do not get into your first choice but the score is uh, eligible to get into your second choice then that's the one that you will be going to and if it's not eligible for the second choice but it is eligible for third then that's the one you're going to be going to and that's just gonna that's just the way it's gonna work for all the universities there's 13 universities that teach medicine and surgery and there's one University of Siena that teaches uh, just the dentistry course so here I just for fun I selected all 13 universities in a random kind of order I got Bologna as my first choice so now everybody I guess knows that uh, I'll be applying to University of Bologna um, and we go to proceed once you've made all, all the selections. Now again, for, for here it says 12, 12 other choices, but for none of you, that's not going to matter. You're not going to be in any of the rankings for the, your other choices. Only the first choice, so here which is Bologna, only the first choice will be uh, the one that will count for the IMAT exam because you're non-EU. We only get one choice. EU students, yes, all 12, including the first, will count. So next, what we're going to do is uh, 
uh, here it says that you cannot make any changes after uh, July 22nd and it's more difficult to make changes after you have paid for the enrollment so uh, here once we have chosen the university I have chosen it's locked in now and I'm gonna have to do some emailing some uh, con contacting uh, authorities in order to unlock that to change my choice however I don't want to do that so we're just gonna proceed to the next step now if you do wish to change you press the delete I'm at registration button and you haven't paid for it yet so you would press the delete I'm at registration button and it would begin all over again where you would fill out all of your choices and it will give you the opportunity to fill out your first choice once again okay however here we're just gonna proceed to the next step and it takes us to the Cam Cambridge assessment uh, website or booking website registration where uh, we're able to select the country and the location where we're writing the exam so here I'm gonna select Canada because I'll be writing it in Canada now we click next it says please note that if there is a center fully booked you won't be able to select it in this case please select another center or another country so here center of English studies this is one in Toronto uh, that I'm going to be writing in on September 9th at 9 a.m. so that's the one I'm selecting looks like the spots are available now we go to next and here it shows me 164 dollars this is going to be American dollars that I'm gonna have to pay now uh, this the, this could be different for other parts of the world so for example if you are in the EU you would probably be paying euro instead of uh, 164 US dollars you'll be paying I believe it's 130 euro and if you're in the UK you will likely be paying uh, British pounds which would cost I think it was 114 or 118 British pounds but it depends on every year so this amount will will differ based on the currency so here again let's make sure everything's correct the test is I'm at 2021 session date September 9th 2021 session time is 9 a.m. and the location is Center of English Studies which is here in Toronto Canada so then I'm going to go and write down my card information proceed and this is the ID so we can take a photo of this you should receive an email immediately after um, the payment has been processed and that is your confirmation that you have signed up for the IMAT exam now you can also take this confirmation uh, and send it to your embassy or your consulate so if your university does not hand out uh, uh, pre-enrollment letters then you can take the information from the IMAT registration and simply send it off to your consulate as confirmation that you have a conditional acceptance to a university of your choice. So that will be the end of the tutorial and now that you're experts at registering for the IMAT exam I suggest that you do it sooner rather than later because the spots at your testing center locations are going to fill up quickly and you don't want to travel to a different country in order to complete your exam in September. Now with that said I bet there's going to be a lot of questions arising on different and various scenarios so if you do need my help personally I suggest that you email me it's in the description box down below and I will talk to you soon.